The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Asmodee. Welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And today we are playing Treasure Hunter by Queen Games uh, and by designer Richard Garfield, which a lot of you may know from Magic the Gathering. So this is a game where we are going to be recruiting via drafting uh, treasure hunters. Now we have three areas that our treasure hunters are going to go in search of treasure. We have the Frosty Mountains. We have... I want to call it the Juicy Jungle because it's hot and steamy there, but this is the Tangled Jungle. I should remember that because of Tangled. Tangled. And we have the Lava Cave. So we will have colors of our treasure hunters that are all going to go there. And you'll also notice we have a Max and a Min. The highest value of your explorers or your treasure hunters that you have there, uh, you're going to get this uh, treasure. If you have the minimum, which means that you have at least one, you're going to get the minimum treasure. And as you can see, we're going to be populating these uh, tiles out of a couple different decks that we've shuffled. And there's no really rhyme or reason on which is going to be better. Sometimes the minimum treasure is going to be better. Sometimes the maximum is going to be better. Um, it, it just all depends. So the strategy is going to change from turn to turn. So let's look at the different kinds of adventures that we have, or the treasure hunters. We have... Uh, different colors and they're all the same as far as uh, they're numbered 1 through 12 for each color so uh, blue green and red are each gonna have a sweet William that's number six they'll have this redhead that is Sylvana Foxfoot she's worth three and we have good old Tinker Tim here he's number five that's kind of cool I like him just because his name's Tim. Well, of course. I like number three. You like number three? Why do you like number three? Yeah, like Myrta. Yeah, so you'll <laughs> see that, you know, we've got these numbers up here. That's going to determine the value that we have overall. So when we play these cards, we'll play all of our blue cards first, and then we'll resolve the Frosty Mountains area. Then we'll play all of our green cards, and we'll play all of our red cards, and we'll resolve those in turn. Now, the next thing we're going to do is... If we have any coins, we go to the coin phase, and some of the cards that we can draft look like this. These are the coins. We have a bronze, which is, uh, or a copper, which is one, a silver, which is worth two, and a gold, which is worth three. Other cards that we can draft are, we like to call these the doggies. These are actually our camp guards, okay? And you'll notice that these have a couple numbers on them. The numbers up here represent their defense value that they give. So this guy here that looks like, I think, a Rottweiler, mm -hmm. he's got a defense value of one, whereas you've got these that look like a Rottweiler and a wolf. They have a defense value of two. And you'll also notice this number down here at the bottom. That's the discipline level. And in case we tie and have the same number of, uh, of paw prints, then whoever has the card that has the highest discipline number is going to uh, win the ties. So how do those come into play? Well, let's look at this other side of the board. We have the goblins here. Okay, in this case, we have uh, a level two, a level two, and a level one. So we have to have the paw prints equal to or greater than that number in order to stave off the goblins. If we can't, then the goblins are going to steal this coin from our camp. So we want to make sure that we uh, keep the goblins at bay. Now, when we defeat the goblins, whoever has the most dogs or the most paw value is going to get all of these that they can defend against. And these are going to be worth one victory point at the end of the game. The game is played over five rounds and in a game that you're having more than two players, you're going to actually rotate which direction you pass the cards when you draft them. And it shows you here on the side, the first round you're going to pass cards to the left, second round you're going to pass cards to the right, and so on. In a two-player game, that doesn't happen. And I'll talk about the two-player variant here in a minute. Some other cards that we can draft are magic cards. And the magic cards are going to affect the value that we have of our treasure hunters in certain ways. So I'll show you those here. We have the shrinking potion. 
So this allows you to subtract two from your uh, total of um, treasure hunters, yeah, from the value. So for the goblin mercenary, we're going to have to pay one copper to each one of the goblins, but we're going to get to add eight to our total for that area that uh, our treasure hunters are in. Next we have the scare goblin. That means that regardless of what our paw value is, we don't have to pay the goblins when we're done. Now we still take into account the number just in case we need to see who's going to win, but this just means you don't have to pay. We have sleeping beauty. This means that you can cancel one of your cards. So say if you're going to go, you're trying to go for the uh, minimum amount and you have like a one and a nine, you could play sleeping beauty on the nine. So now you're back down to only one. The Mystery Mule, you can play any time uh, during the, the different phases, and that's going to allow you to draw a card uh, off the top of the draw deck. And you, if you happen to pass, say if I play the Mystery Mule in the Lava Cave when we're resolving that, any card that I pull that is uh, for the Frosty Mountains or for the Tangled Jungle, then basically I disregard that because we've already resolved the, that action. And finally, we have the Flaming Sword. That's going to allow you to add four to your value of your treasure hunters for uh, in, in one of the areas. Another card that we have, and I guess this is the last different card, mm -hmm. is we have animal companions. Now there's one for each of the areas. The polar bear is obviously for the Frosty Mountains. The uh, Tangled Jungles is a looks like a Bengal tiger. Mm -hmm. And the Lava Cave looks like a dragon. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of like that dragon that uh, that's in the Harry Potter ride at Universal, you know, that uh, breathes fire mm -hmm. every like fifteen minutes. It's on top of Green Guts. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Because that one's albinoy white. Well, that's true. This one's kind of red. It's like the Hungarian horn tail. Okay, you're the expert when it yes. comes to Harry Potter. You can just call it Schmal because it looks like Schmaug too. Hey, you don't need to bring Benedict Cumberbatch Schmaug. into the uh, video I here. I can if I want to. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, what you'll notice here, the animal companions, after the little sidebar there, they actually double the value of your treasure hunters. So it's important to remember that that is the treasure hunter value. If you've added, uh, like the flaming sword where you've added four, that doesn't double the value of uh, basically your non-treasure hunter cards. And these are optional. You don't have to play any of the magic cards. You don't have to play any of the animal companion cards. Uh, that's totally up to you and what you're trying to do. You just can't hold them over to the next round. Correct. At the end of the round, you're going to take all the cards and you're going to, including the draw deck, you're going to shuffle them all together and you're going to deal cards again. Now, let's talk about how the two-player variant works. Everybody is going to get nine cards, just like in a normal game. However, you're also going to deal out each player uh, in the two-player game a deck of nine cards. So after you choose one of the cards from your hand and you pass the, the hand to the other player, that card you chose, you're going to compare that with, you're going to draw the top card off of your personal draw deck and compare which one you want. And then you're going to discard the one you don't want and then the one you do want to keep goes into your hand. You do that for every card. After everybody has drafted nine cards, then you start resolving the, um, the areas in order. Okay, one last thing I want to talk about is certain types of treasures. So you'll see here and here we have a basically a tile that has a gray background. These are bonus tiles that are going to be awarded at the end of the game. So like this one here is going to award a copper for every treasure tile that you have. This one awards a copper for every one of the goblin tiles that you have. The gold, however, those can be used at the end of a round. Now, you don't have to use it in the round that you acquired it, so you could save it for another time. In this case, this one here basically doubles the amount of coin cards that you played in the turn. There are others that give you uh, coins if you've played for however many like red cards or blue cards or green cards or dog cards. Or, or a number value. Or a number value, yeah. So when we come up with those or those pop up, then we'll kind of talk about those a little bit more. But I think that is about it, so we're going to shuffle up and get ready to play. So at the beginning of the game, we start with 15 coins. It can be any amalgamation if you want them with coppers or the silvers or the gold. We always use the gold normally to start with. And um, we have these extra tokens that are worth 10 and 20 um, coins or gems, same thing. Um, you might want to cash those in and start like changing out your coins into this so you don't have a lot of coins. But it's also helpful at the end with the end scoring. Yep. 
So we've gone ahead and we've shuffled our cards mm -hmm. and we each have our draw deck. So now it's time for us to start drafting. Now this phase actually goes fairly quick yes. because uh, especially in a two-player game, you're going to be looking and figuring out what your strategy is. You probably look at the board and figure out which treasure is the most important. Uh, right now, the biggest treasure on there is that 13, which is in the lava cave. Mm -hmm. um, but you minimum. want a minimum value. So, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be tough. And then the dogs, we've got the highest value is a 2. two. So that's not bad. So swap in and then compare. And we just do this for each round. So this part goes pretty quickly, especially in a two player. It also helps if you remember what the other person might have taken. <laughs> if you start familiarizing yourself with the cards. That is true. You kind of like, oh, that, that didn't come back this time when I got the cards. So you have to start looking at that sometimes as well. What sucks is when you start getting to the point where you're like, I don't like these cards that I'm getting back. Because <laughs> you purposely avoided taking them to begin with. That is true. Because then you're just like, welp, that sucks. Because then you're stuck with whatever you end up with as well. Okay, so now we check with our hands what we've ended up with. Probably want to just rearrange your hand and put all your mm -hmm. white cards together. Uh, you can't choose to not play a, a treasure color. hunter for a color. You're so, stuck with it. So there's what we have for the Frosty Mountains for me. Okay. So, well, this is fairly easy to, to think of. But now we can also play magic cards. Yes. So uh, it says in the rules that the whoever was the dealer, which in this case it was me for the first mm -hmm. round, I get to choose if I want to play a magic card right now or not. And I will pass. I'll pass. So since we both pass and we resolve, obviously Megan has three and I have 1925. So I'm going to take that, okay. put those aside. Now we move on to the to the next phase. I have a one. Seven. Uh, I am not going to play any magic. I will not either. So I will get the minimum. Okay. Megan will get the maximum. Still two points. It's not bad. And we move on to the lava cave. And I'm not playing any. I will show that I have no red, unfortunately. I had 16, but I'm going to use my Sleeping Beauty and get rid of that 9. Which, it doesn't really matter because since I didn't play any red, Megan actually gets both treasures. But I'm showing that I'm using my magic cards. That is true. You so, are showing that. Yeah. So, next thing we do is we resolve the money. So, we play all of our money cards here. No money. No money. No I money. actually have, whoops, I have 7. 7. Which is... I'll just take two gold and a copper. Okay. I'm not going to use this flame sword magic, so I'm just put that down there. Yeah, no, I got one too. I'm not going to use it as well. Okay. And so, doggies. So I have two. Two. And my discipline value is ten Five. is the highest. Well, four is yeah. your highest. So I win the ties. We didn't have to pay because nope. we both had two. So I actually get all three mm -hmm. of these guys. And that's a round. That is a round. That's how fast this game plays. Especially two-player. So what we're going to do is we will now shuffle up the cards again, and we will put new tiles down. For this time. Uh, minimum green looks good. Now you'll notice that there yes. is a negative treasure here. Which is this, not good. <laughs> it's a nasty boot with uh, looks like a snake and a couple eyeballs sticking out of it. It kind of looks like Boo's costume, but not as pretty. Yeah, that's worth negative four, so you really are probably you not going to want that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I bumped. I bumped the board. I bumped the board. Yeah. That was me. Okay, blue. Wow. What you got? Well, I have no blue. See, I, I have, have no blue. I have nine, so that, that's cool. I'll take both. Yeah, you get both. I like this. Well, you know, there was a case that I had a blue, and what I drew off of my deck was better, and I wanted to keep it. Yeah. So, yeah. So for green? Green, I have a four. I have a five. Now, do you um, have any magic you wish to play? Yeah, I do. I'm going to get rid of that. Sleeping See? Beauty. So, now you don't get anything. But that's fine, because I don't want negative four. Yeah, that actually helps you, because... Now you're stuck with negative four. I have to take both of these. So, so. technically, you got ten points out of that. Yeah. That was actually well played, Megan. Uh -huh. Alright, so now we have red. I play I Dirk lot. Digger. This guy's Vigo True Shot, you know. Uh, Legolas. 
He does kind of look like Legolas. He's blonde. He's but at the bone. same time, I'm thinking He's in green. Arrow. The That's green what you arrow. always think of. That is Oliver Queen. My name is Oliver Queen. Yes. And for five years, I was on an island. But he wasn't. Not technically. And this season, he's got short hair. And when they rescued him off the island, he, he had long hair and that long he, beard. Like, he had actually he not done anything. He went to, like, for... that Chinese Asian place. And he got his head taken care of. Hey, what? A magic growing? Hair growing potion? You know. Okay, so you got how much? I got a lot. You got 23. <laughs> so I have the max. Wow, because I can do this. I can play my animal companion, which puts me to 16. You're still... Got the minimum. And I have my flaming sword, which would put me at 20, unfortunately. Right, yeah, 20, yeah. yeah, you're still going to win that. Ooh. I really wanted that. Oh, you didn't get because it. Because I, yeah, so I get this one <laughs> So, yeah. All right, so now coins. Nope. I get one copper. I don't have any. Okay. I have puppies. I have puppies. I have five. I have two, four, six, seven. Crap. There was a lot of puppies in that uh, thing. So, yeah. You so get them all again. I am going to get them all because nobody owes anything because we had no. enough. So, that is the end of round two. Okay, and you're the dealer. Yep. So, there you go. So, we'll reset the board up, shuffle the cards. Okay, so we're ready to Again, do drafting. our draft here. Ooh. Let's see. I'm not with an easy choice right there. Yeah, sometimes the choice can be very obvious, what you need to do. Mm-hmm. I hate some of the cards that I'm getting rid of. I uh, want to keep them. I know. Some of them are just like, I got to do it. Okay, I'm good. Alright. Okie dokie. Blues? I will show my hand that I have no blues. Oh, I've got a lot. <laughs> um, well, I have 16 and then times 2, so... Yeah, you're going to get both because I yeah, have no blue. which is negative 8, which sucks, but... Kind of a double-edged sword there. Yeah. You know what? Okay, so let's, yeah, let's do green. green. Let's see, i got a lot of green. 11, 23, 24, and green. Okay, I've got five, so I'll get the minimum. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... What are you doing? Yeah, you know, I'm going to play a mystery mule. I want to get that card, top card off there. Oh, and it will resolve here, so it has uh, nine. So, yeah, you're I mean, going to get the minimum. You had the max already. Well, I was hoping I was also going to get maybe a different card. Okay. So, I'm just like, you had it, but... So I'll place that there. Yep. And now for the lava cave. Okay. I have 19. I have 20. Oh, man. I threw some red away thinking I already had it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you want to play any magic or anything? No, I'm good. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, hmm. I'll have to think about yeah. that one. And money? Two. Oh, no. What? I didn't keep any doggies. Oh, I got one doggie. Well, one is all I need. Hang on, I gotta pay the dogs now. Yeah, right, I gotta pay the goblins. You gotta pay me, essentially. I gotta, yeah, I know. So there's a two, that and two, one there, and let's we'll just get some change here. Oh, you wanted to? Yeah, I just did it. That's fine. Ah, that was an oversight on my part. I I knew I was throwing I dogs away. Dog. I was throwing dogs away that because I animal cruelty. I thought I had some. Well, I would never throw a dog away. We like our doggy too much. So all right. Okay, round four. Okay, so we're ready to begin round four. Yep. Oh, I should have been looking at my cards because I totally... <laughs> Did you mess yourself up? I totally misplayed that. <laughs> okay. Blues. Yeah, I know. I totally went low mm -hmm. and then forgot what I did. <laughs> Oh, that's good. So I was like, oh, you had a three. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Cool. So I get the minimum. Don't forget to look at your cards. Hey, you going to play any magic? No. Yeah, I don't no. have any magic to play either. So, unfortunately. No verde. Okay. No green. No verde. Oh, wow. So I'm going to get both of those because I'm assuming you're not playing magic. I don't have no magic. Got no magic. And lava. Eight. Four. So I'll get that. Coinage. I've got a silver. I've got that. And what was this one? 
Might as well, because it's a fourth round. So I'll use that and double it. So. Well, you got another one of those, too. Yeah, I know. I'll wait, though. See what I get next time. Doggies. And I've got three doggies. Um, seven. Yeah. You got a lot of dogs. Puppies. And we all had, obviously, enough. Yep. So, all round right. Round five. Final so, round. This game's going quick. Mm-hmm. Blues. I have no blue. You got a blue, and a blue, and a blue. You got a lot of blue, you get both. Cool. Green. Uh, green. I have an eight. Nope, oh, I have a twelve. I have twenty. Uh, I have no green, but I'm going to play a mystery mule. Let's see what I get. And did not get what I wanted. Do so. you have another mule? No, I'm fresh out of mules. Cool. I don't have two mules for Sister Sarah. That's for Sister an, Sarah? I don't know. It's an old Clint Eastwood movie. I never watched it. I was going to say, I don't have any sisters. I don't know anyone really named Sarah. Uh, yes, you do. You know a lot of people named Sarah. Uh, okay. I have ten. I have one. Mm -hmm. Can I use magic? Uh, do you want this? No, I'm not going to use magic because I don't have any green. <laughs> I just want that. Money. Okay, money, money, no money, money. money. I'm broke. Yeah. Budget cuts. I have budget cuts. I get two silver and a copper. And time for the doggies. Four puppies. I got six. How about it? So. Um, I'm going to use some cards. I'm going to cash them in here. So I had Oops. two green. So I get two copper. I have three blue, so I get three silver. And I had two green, so I get two gold. I had two puppies, so I'll get two copper. And then I'll get two silver for those puppies. And then I didn't get any money, so I don't get nothing for that. Yeah, it's kind of a waste. So that's a dud. And then I play... Well, you want to keep that because you have a treasure thing there, so... Oh, yeah, it's a treasure. And I have a six. Is it worth it or should I keep it as a treasure? Um, I'll keep it as a treasure. Well, you're, no, you're, so no. you'll get a gold for that. Yeah. And you're only going to get copper for it there. Okay, true. So you might as okay. well. So I'll do that. Yeah. You cashing in anything? Well, unfortunately, I didn't. I mismanaged my uh, tiles because I wasn't paying enough attention to them. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not going to turn that one in for any blue. Seven, eight, or nine, I didn't ever even play those. So, yeah, I just totally spaced out yeah. and did not do that. So I'm going to leave those because I have this mm -hmm. here. So... Uh, I will get two, uh, or I get a silver for every one of my treasure tiles. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'll get twenty-two. I'll just go ahead and I'll take this uh, twenty gem and two of these. Okay. Do you need to get something? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna add it up. Okay. So that takes care of that. <laughs> Okay, I really thought I scored a lot there. I mean, when you I was did. counting mine up, you know, I had 120, or excuse me, 119 points. And then you added yours up and realized that I got my butt kicked once again. Yeah. You know, I haven't won this game against you yet. I'm just that good. And actually, I have not won this game even playing with my gaming group yet. So that means you suck at this game. I suck at this game. <laughs> you broke I, 100. I did. That's a good thing. Yeah, considering the game I played last night with my gaming group, I don't even think I broke 50. Oh, but we had a five-player game, so... Oh, that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get to what we think. Okay, I guess I'll go first on this. Um, it's a good game. This is... It's pretty light. There's really not a lot of in-depth stuff. A lot of it is going to kind of be luck of the draw, what cards you're going to get when it comes back around to you. Uh, I would definitely consider this a gateway game. I'd probably introduce this to someone who I wanted to get interested in Seven Wonders or some of the other card drafting types of games um, because of the drafting in this game. 
The two player variant, I don't like it as much as I like playing with more players. It's, I like it. it well, <laughs> yeah, and that's the only way you've played is, yeah. is with two players. But I like it because I win. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have anything you want to add as far as the gameplay? Um, I think it's cool. I mean, we don't often play with, like, the type of drafting, like, in that way, where we pass the cards back and forth, other than, like, really seven wonders. So yeah. That's kind of interesting to have that mechanic brought in. I think it's cool. I like the idea in the two-player variant, because I haven't played with other people. Like, you have the deck that you look at only, and then you kind of decide. I like that aspect. I mean, that could be totally different, I'm assuming, in a... Yeah, when you more people game because when you have more players, everybody is always dreading that last card that they're yeah. gonna get because they realize that it's they have nothing drastic. that they can do about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's kind of the the you know the screw your neighbor take that aspect of it. Yeah. Um, as far as the components go, I mean the the cardboard is nice and thick, very mm -hmm. sturdy. The art on the yeah, uh, like on the, the tiles is good. Uh, all the components are good. The, I like the board. The mm -hmm. board's nice. I like um, all the characters. The, the cards are nice. The insert is a typical queen insert, yes. so not really much to say there. The The board, this is what I want to uh, talk about a little bit, because this is uh, basically like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking what they're going to do, and this is just me speculating, is they're going to have another piece to put in between there. Or several. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they could they could keep adding something with an expansion and keep adding different things. They mm -hmm. could even come up with... with uh, you know, three new uh, areas in yeah. order to send treasure hunters to. Um, I Because otherwise, why wouldn't you just have a folding board? Yeah. So I'm thinking that that's why they Expansions did that is because are in mind. They, do, they are thinking expansion. Yes. Now, I do know that with the Kickstarter backers, they got two expansions uh, that added different goblin tiles, they added different cards. Uh, the treasure hunter cards that I saw had paw prints on them Ooh. so like you can use them to help defend against the goblins That's cool. um there was some pink tiles that are that do things at the end of the game i think mm -hmm. um i didn't see any new boards though so i don't know if you know it's that's coming works. yeah you know this game is supposed to come out at the end of november which ironically you know we're presenting this yes. video right before that so this will come out i would assume if they were going to plan an expansion that it probably will come out uh, sometime probably late uh, 2016, yes. probably Essen. They might even yeah. have something at Gen Con. Um, because I feel we like Gen Con would be the earliest. But... And they might have a prototype for it at Gen mm -hmm. Con. You know, we saw this as a prototype at Gen Con this year. I think it was near final. Uh, I think they still had some tweaks left to go, but it was pretty close to being done. We just didn't get a chance to play it. I was going to say, I don't remember that. So Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to add, Megan? No, I like winning against you. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've had your fair this. number yeah. of, of kicking my butt with this game. Mm -hmm. You know, this is going to be one of those games that we're going to have to pull out again until I win. So we're not going to move on to other games for no, a while? No, we're, we're going to have to, but we'll come back to this <laughs> at some point. Yeah. So that'll do it for this, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us. Used the uh, the Goblin Mercenary that doesn't dob double that. Uh, what? You said double dabble. That doesn't double the, uh, we'll edit that out. <laughs>